Alright, so I have really, really important news for you. I think I actually did find another piece to this weird freedom puzzle. There was a second key lying around. I picked it up and I'm gonna see if anything happens at the end of this ten night cycle. I also don't think there's any keys in your uh, dimension of this place since, thinking about it, I'm pretty sure that these are a reference to a very bad trauma that happened to me. Why the force behind all this is giving them to me, I have no clue. But they just, they just have to be important. They, they can't be meaningless. Oh, and uh, I think I figured out what causes these differences in their slumber cycles. There's been something here. It came here with you. It's been hiding, but sometimes I think I've seen a glimpse of it. I, I think I must have just marked it off as am I real since their costume texture appears to be uh, really similar, but it's not. I noticed that it makes way louder footsteps than am I real, so what I'm guessing is that this is something really, really big, and that these loud footsteps are interrupting the ghost's slumber cycle. I don't quite know what it is, but I have a very bad feeling about what it might be. Uh, I don't want to chance it. If it is what I think it is, though, we are, uh, well, we're screwed completely. I'm gonna find out what it is now. Talk to you tomorrow night. Oh, my God. 
He found the bodies. I didn't have much of a choice, so, so I knocked him out. I didn't want to do this, but I can't have anyone interrupt my plans. All of John's friends are dead, so now just John himself is left. I knocked put Fritz out and put him into the cake bear suit. <laughs> they stupidly kept it in the back. I dumped him into the crawl space after putting him in the suit. If the moisture down there doesn't snap the locks, then the panic he will have when waking up surely will. It's just John left.